Hey Capricorn, welcome. This is your um, reading for the end of January. This is going over the people in your life, okay? So we're going to go ahead and jump right on into it here. Let's look at you. You're confused about something here. You're just withdrawing because you're like, well, this doesn't make any sense. <laughs> so I feel like you're just kind of withdrawing here, trying to figure it out, all right? You see the potential for something really good, and it's like you could be closing yourself off due to energies around you that you don't feel are supported here, Capricorn. So that could be what's going on. Someone here is reflecting on something. They're looking back on something here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Basically, I feel like you're going to find out the truth about this um, Taurus or this uh, Aquarius, Pisces, maybe Aries, Virgo, Scorpio. I feel like that's why you're withdrawing. You're like, things aren't adding up. You know, that's the energy that I feel you in. Things are not adding up. Seven of Cups, confusion, the hermit, uh, introspection. So it's like you're looking within, but I mainly feel as if you are just kind of reserving yourself, reserving your energy until you can figure something out. Because you see a lot of potential. You have a lot of attraction towards a person is how this feels to me. You have the Three of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, Six of Cups. Um, Six of Cups can be a card of like, somebody could have gone back to their past here. Um, especially after talking a whole lot of crap about their past. Let's go ahead and look at all this. What's going on with this? What's going on with Capricorn energy here? Knight of Cups could have been a Pisces. Two of Pentacles. This was unstable from the get-go, and I think that's why you're not having such a hard time with it. You're just trying to understand what's going on with their energy here. Six of Wands. This person really talked a big game, okay? Talked themselves up, or maybe they talked down on their past here and then returned to their past. It's possible. Tower. But you're realizing that this person has, um, th things are very messed up in their life, you know? They could have come across as somebody who was very financially stable, you know, had healed everything from their childhood. They get a lot of, um, you know, attention. Like, they've, they have a lot of success, right? With the Six of Wands, Ten of Pentacles energy. Um, but the Three of Wands showing up here, it's like they're looking out over things and they're seeing how they've messed up. They've skipped some steps here. They left some things out. Um, they've twisted a story or two. So yeah, it seems like Capricorn, this person, it's like they're, they're embarrassed because they've lied and it's falling apart here. Some of you, they have children, they have a whole family, but you're definitely finding that out because you have the King of Swords here. This is truth, clarity. Uh, somebody's communicating this to you, or you could be seeing it for yourself. King of Pentacles, whether male or female, this person could be committed. Um, they could be like a family man or woman, right? You get the hangman right here, or there could be delays with their finances. Um, they're just not as much in their bag as they have expressed to you, right? The devil. Yeah, some of you, they're, they're caught up on addictions or they're in um, contracts here. Like, they've not broken free from those. Like, you could be their escape from that. So, yeah, that's an energy that I feel here as well. They've got a lot of changes to make, and they live as if they've already made them. So, yeah, um, I definitely feel some embarrassment coming off of this person here, Capricorn, because it's like you see who they are. You see right through them, and they didn't expect you to find out the truth about them. So, very specific message here in the remainder of January. Um, I'm going to go over all 12 signs and see how they're feeling towards you and um, what their actions are for the remainder of January here, Capricorn. I wish I could see how many minutes I've been recording. Oh, well. How about Aries? Aries wants growth with you. They celebrate you. The Aries celebrates you. They tell people about you, your accomplishments, um, the things they love about you. Yeah, they definitely want growth with you here. I think they're going to nurture this connection um, so much more in the remainder of January. So if you're not in a commitment with this person, you definitely could be. But things are moving in a positive direction with the Aries. How about Taurus? Taurus is recognizing you for something too, Four of Cups, but they feel ignored or they're ignoring you, okay? Some of you, it's like they're ignoring you, but they're seeing you have success after they have rejected you or shut you out. How about, why'd I get Wednesday? That's weird. I don't know why I got Wednesday. That's very weird. So I don't know what's happening with Wednesday. Is there, I don't know. Um, anyhow, Gemini. Gemini is feeling like you tiptoe around certain topics here, like you don't answer the things they want you to answer. Um, I think that they're going to go ghost because of that. It's like they, they feel like you're not, like maybe you don't want to FaceTime or maybe you don't want to hang out at 3 in the morning. You know, it could be something like that. They're like, well, you know what, I'm just not going to talk. I'm not going to talk to Capricorn anymore. 
cancer uh, feels like you compete with them. They take everything personal uh, that you have to say here. Like anytime you disagree with them, they may take it personal. You have the seven of pentacles showing up. Like they're they're waiting on some kind of apology for you, the cancer from you. Can the cancer is? How about Leo? The star. Leo's wanting to heal things with you, the Queen of Wands. I think they're going to express that in some way, but they're going to make it lighthearted. They're going to make it more lighthearted than anything. How about Virgo? Virgo may feel like you're unstable or this whole connection is just too unstable. I see them backing out of it here, okay? How about Libra? Libra feels avoided by you here, Capricorn. <clears throat> they feel like you're avoiding them. Two of Wands. They're going to try even harder to take initiative towards you. So, yeah. How about Scorpio? Because they feel avoided. They're going to be like, well, what did I do? What's going on? How about Scorpio? Four of Swords. Scorpio is trying to get clear about things. Trying to get clear about things, but I think ultimately they're going to express something to you here. They're going to express exactly what it is that they want, all right? So, I don't know what, if that's going to align with what you want or how that's going to work. But yeah, that's what's going on. How about Sagittarius? Sagittarius could want to live with you or have children, Capricorn. Like they want to live with you or have children with you. You have the King of Pentacles and the Empress. So yeah, they definitely want to continue to nurture this connection here in the remainder of January. Like they want a long future with you. How about Capricorn? Nine of Wands. The Capricorn doesn't trust you or they just don't trust people in general. Four of Cups. They're shutting it out until they figure out what they can... They figure out how to make sense of it or how to make sense of you or your motives. Aquarius. Aquarius has a lot they're trying to heal from here, but they do want to welcome you in at some point. However, in the remainder of January, it looks like they're shutting you out. How about Pisces? Like they're going through something. They're trying to get put something behind them. Pisces, a lot of attraction towards you. A lot of attraction towards you, Capricorn. They feel like you are mysterious. They want to figure you out. Page of Swords. They're going to continue to watch you from afar. Okay, I don't think they're going to ask all the questions they want to ask. They're going to keep it um, at one specific level here, whatever that means. All right. Um, anyhow, um, I do hope this was helpful, and I hope you'll watch out for your other signs. But this is where we part, Capricorn. Thank you so much for watching and supporting me, and you enjoy the rest of your month. Bye.